is up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Wilburn Shenanigans. My name is Chad. This is my wife, Dio. We are back with another great reaction video. Today, we're headed back into my man, Bill Burr. I know you guys have been waiting for this name to pop back up over here because we go venture off over here a lot. A lot. A whole lot. Uh, we're going into Bill Burr, Zombies, Shoggies, and Good Spread. I don't even know what Shoggies is. Good Spread. Okay, I don't know what we're talking about. Me either. But you know Bill Burr, he break it down. He break it down like a pastor. Told you he wasn't bald. I want to get a gun. He is bald now. <laughs> I do. I really do. I never had that feeling before until I moved out to Los Angeles. This city just messes with your mind, you know? Yeah. It's overpopulated, technically doesn't have a water supply. <laughs> right? The dollar's crashing. Shit keeps you up at night. You're just sick of What am I gonna do when the zombies come? <laughs> right? Start reading up on shit. Get some powdered food. Plant some zucchini. Get a windmill. Right? And that's all well and good. But if you don't know how to fight, all you're doing is gathering supplies for the toughest guy in the block. That's right? Just thinking about that. What am I going to do? Some dude turns me upside down, starts shaking the gold coins out of my pockets. I got to get a gun. So I'm on the road, right? I'm in Reno, great gun town. So I go down to their little gun store, right? Come walking in, there's some redneck there. I'm like, hey man, I want to get a gun. He's like, I hear you. What you looking for? What you want? Mossberg, over under, 357 Magnum, right? Starts rattling off all this gibberish, <laughs> right? Like, I, I don't know shit. In. I'm trying to play it off. I feel like a bitch because I don't know anything about guns. <laughs> so I was like, what do I do here? Ah, hell, well, I go, I'm gonna go with honesty. I go, look, dude, I don't know anything about guns. They terrify me, but I'm worried about the zombies. All right? That's just the only thing he worried about. It's just like, you need a shotgun. Well, at least he was you need a shotgun, for. man, it's got a good spread. It's easy to load, doesn't have a lot of working parts, it's got a good spread. He kept saying that. It's got a good spread. He thought it makes sense now where he going. I'm like, what does that mean? He goes, well, it means you, you ain't gotta that? be that accurate. Got a good spread. Further away you are, the more shit you hit. <laughs> got a good spread. In fact, you got a problem over here. You ain't even got to look. You just turn. Wow, that's it. You ain't got a problem over here anymore. Anything that was even remotely a problem ain't there anymore. Trust me. And then these people here, they saw what you just did here. You ain't got a problem here either. Feel me? And the degrees taken care of right there. One shot. Yeah. These people get smart, flip it over. Wow! Oh my it. God. It's got a good spread. <laughs> so I'm like laughing my ass off. I'm like, dude, look, I just want to shoot the guy. Mm. I don't have to do a bunch of drywall work, you know? <laughs> Reframe my diploma, get my parakeet another friend, you know? <laughs> I just want to shoot the guy. So I'm like, you know, how about, how about one of these pistols? So he does like that classic, like that redneck trailing off thing, like, ah, you want a pistol? Go get a pistol. <laughs> Well, I know, I've just been here 20 years. <laughs> Get a shiny one, right? So I was like, dude, what's wrong with getting a pistol? He goes, I'll tell you what, buddy. Because life, life ain't a movie. You feel me? Where are you going, I'm like, bro? like, no, can you please stop speaking in these backwards riddles? <laughs> can you just say what you're saying? I told you I don't know shit about guns. Come on, do me a solid here. What you... He goes, well, look, you ever watch a movie? Guy go, blah, 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 he, he kills three people. Real life, man, you miss. You miss all the fucking time. You miss enough times, man, you might as well, you're empty. You might as well just be standing there with a big stapler in your hand. <laughs> then what you gonna do? I was like, well, fuck it, let's get the shotgun. <laughs> so he's all ready to box the thing up, and then I'm like, wait a minute. I live with my girl, I can't just show up with a shotgun. Right? That's not some shit you can just come home with. If I found this stool on the side of the road, I can come home with this. Look at it. We can, we can refinish it. We can carve refinish our initials it. in it. We can have a good time, right? <laughs> Just show up with a shotgun. Hey, I got it for us, right? Mm. One barrel for you, one for me. No. <laughs> so she kiboshes the whole thing. Till the other night, somebody broke into our car sitting in the driveway. Starts fucking with her head, right? Oh. So she starts reading up on guns, you know? She's reading too much, because now she wants to get one, but she's just like, well, I heard you got to keep the bullets in the safe, keep the stock in the garage. And, it's, and then what? Then what? I run around the house and assemble it. There's some dudes chasing me with an axe. You know, even thinking this thing through, sweetheart. 
Clean Run around. Where's, where's the scope? It's in the living room. He's in the living room. <laughs> We're getting this thing. I want that fucking thing loaded right on the bedroom wall. Right there. I'll put that thing up my jam jam sleeves. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> There's no other point. That's funny, though, when you, when you talk about getting a gun, you know? People, like, they either totally for it or completely against it. You know, they either go nuts and start screaming, right? Or they start throwing out those stats. You know, actually, you, you increase your chances of getting shot by 80% the second you get a gun in the house. Really? What, because I'm going to load it and shower with it? Like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> The fuck? I know it's dangerous. You get a pool in your backyard, you immediately increase your odds of drowning in your backyard, right? You couldn't do that point. before. Now you step on a rake, in you go. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, I don't buy any of that shit. Oh my god. That's I'm glad y'all bought me Imagine about that. like like them at that moment. Like she's like, okay, we gotta like play it out. Like you gotta hit the worst case scenario, what are we doing? Yeah. That's literally what I was thinking about the whole time. I was like, oops. I never apartment. understood that too, where he, like he was talking about the rules, like you should have this here, this there. Don't nobody got time to be running around their house looking that for all these true. parts to be freaking loading their gun when somebody come here. Keep this separate from that. You think a criminal when he break in got to hold on, sir. Before you rob me, <laughs> let me run to the kitchen, go back to my bedroom, and then go to the basement, and I'm going to come back and talk to you again. Mm. You knocked across your head. Tripping. Send in the dogs first, and then get your gun. Let them take it. Let, Send in the uh, dogs. How do you say, um, I can't think of the word I'm trying to say. Uh, let them be like the... Already, we practice how all do you the time. Say? We practice all the time. Barley, I send in the dogs first. Send in the dogs. Send what if Barley don't want to go? He going. What if he look right at you like, I ain't going? He going. Barley a thug. You see how he act? Y'all see our dog, he going there viciously, he know. He coming out, he not playing no games. He be looking like, if the lawman... Look, yesterday, look. <laughs> when the lawman go in the backyard, Barley is on The day it. before yesterday, um, I was coming out of our hallway, and it was, like, super duper dark. And, like, I thought maybe he went to the garage or something. I don't know. I, I wasn't thinking of, like, where could child be. So I'm walking, and as I'm looking out the door, because we have, like, um, we can see out our door or whatever, and we look... And then I look at this way, and I feel something hit me, and I scream so loud and jump. <laughs> it was Chad. I couldn't see him in the dark. That's messed up. So our dog jumped up. So I hurry up and turn the light on, and our jo our dog was literally up and like ready to charge. <laughs> and I, was like, he I could have died. Chad, this is Chad. Really? And I'm like, I didn't see you. Like, I, I died, didn't know you were in the I living room. I could have died in like, that exact don't moment. don't turn off the light and walk what was in the that? dark. What was that TV show you come on? A Thousand Ways to Die or whatever it was? I could have oh been on God. there. Oh, my God. I screamed so loud because I, I was like, what? I kid you not. Like, I looked that way and I didn't see nothing. So, for something to butt me, I'm like, what? I thought it was like a ghost and I could have died. And I, like, had to go pet our dog. Like, it's okay, Barley. I could have died. A thousand ways to die. I could have been on there. Who turns the lights Look, off? Let me tell you how it started. Wait, who turns the lights off and walks in the dark? No, people you... who. Okay, okay, that was like stupid, but like I'm who, trying... people who go to bed. No, but you turn the lights off and then leave. You don't turn the lights off and stay in there. I didn't stay. I was leaving. You just came in there when I was leaving. Well, you could have announced yourself. I would have been on a thousand. Y'all have heard this episode start. Apparently, wife comes down the hall, doesn't see her husband, bumps into him, screams, dog ramp tramples him, and he dies. Bites him on his neck. <laughs> Like, that would have been me, y'all. Y'all would have been reading about this. Next time, announce yourself. Okay, if you seen me, why'd you bump into me? Well, man, I was making sure that I was looking at the thing to make sure our house was armed. So, so why did around. you bump into me? Because I wasn't looking at you. Like, looking to see who was coming in the hall. I was looking to make sure that the house was armed before I went back there. And then you just happened to brush my shoulder. I, what about you? You pushed me. For anybody who understands, we have a big dog. Neapolitan Massive. He will viciously... He could have killed me. I could have died. <laughs> I really doubt that. I could have died. He would have smelled you. No, he was going after attack. He was in attack mode. You already had him on the defense. I got scared. If he can't. If you didn't see me, he <laughs> got droopy eyes. What you think he see? He could see at night. Molly cannot see at night. Yes, they can. He growled at me one time when I let him in the house because he thought I was somebody else. <laughs> You heard so Kevin Hart. You got to announce yourself sometimes when you come it in the room. So Instead of Chad turning the hall light on, then coming in, he turns all the lights off and walks in the dark. Look, sometimes when we walk in the house, I got to announce myself coming through the garage. D, no. We got the car. I'd be like, hold on. Let me go in there and announce myself to Barley. I got to come in. It is no longer our house like Kevin Hart said. It is the dog's house. I got to come in there. Barley. Then he looked <laughs> up. He know. It's me. I'm coming in. Let me let me come in. Because oh if God. you come in there and startle him, he jump up quick. And he now he, and then he get too close. It, 
Now I got it barley. And then he way up here already. See? <laughs> now I ain't got time for that. So oh I got to come gosh. in. Barley. You know, it's me, dog. You know, <laughs> let me in. It's sad. Because I used to laugh at Kevin Hart's stand-up. And I was like, dang, he, he, until I got a dog. And I said, he wasn't playing. He was telling the joke, but he's serious. You got to announce yourself with dogs. Then you should have announced yourself when it was dark. I should have announced myself. Barley don't pay no bills in here. He ain't doing when nothing. When I was in there, you could have said, I'm right here. You shouldn't have been coming out. You knew I was coming to bed. What you coming back in the kitchen for? I, exactly. What, what, you probably didn't even go in the something. kitchen to get nothing. No, I did do something. I just don't remember. That's all right, y'all. If I ever come up missing and D say it was a freak accident, y'all just know the dog ate uh, you because uh, D couldn't Wilburn, see it. Night. Stop. Look, don't I'm telling that. y'all right now, something happened. D, she scared the dog. I got bit in the neck. That's all there is to it. That's what they go after. They don't go after nothing else. Your dog they go right after scent. the neck. Dog, dog grab right here. Scent. They go right your here. They don't bite the they go right here. Bobby go, ah. you see how you do his toys? It be drug all through the house. Bye. Messed up. I could have been dead, y'all.